was a clip from Impeachment American Crime Story, which airs Tuesdays at 10 on FX. Congratulations on the show. You are so brilliant. Well, as as Ann Coulter is obviously the, the conservative uh, pundit. Now, am, am I right? I, I was reading that when you prepared for the role, you listened to all of her audio books. Yes, I, I listened to a lot of them, yes. Luckily, you know, she, she read her own books out loud, so it was very helpful for me to prepare. Was it... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> can I be honest? If someone said, you're gonna, you've been offered this part, but you've got to listen to all of Ann Coulter's <laughs> books, I'd go, ah, oh, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit over here and punch myself in the face for an hour. <laughs> You know, it, it was, it was, I just put the pods in and I would just fold laundry and I would just mm. do some tasks and it just, it was the first time where I was listening to an audiobook but not listening to the audiobook, you know, like yes. listening to the voice and the cadence and the rhythms mm -hmm. instead of the meaning. Yeah. <laughs> now, Impeachment is obviously told from Monica Lewinsky's point of view. She's a mm -hmm. producer on the series. Mm -hmm. Did your paths cross? Was she... Was Monica Lewinsky on set? Did she hang out oh, at I all? Oh, I wish we could hang out on set. I wish we did. No, I met her at the at our premiere, which was yeah. which was really lovely. I, I begged uh, Sarah Burgess, our, our our writer, to introduce me, and it was it was a lovely moment. I think she's such a strong, amazing woman. So it was cool. I mean, the, this whole story, like Regina, were, did you, were you following the the Clinton impeachment when this was, you know, in the tabloids and papers of the scandal at the time? Were you invested in this story? Well, yeah, for sure, for sure. But I was uh, more invested in Monica Lewinsky's hair. She has... I understand that. It's beautiful it is hair. sensational. Still, still. Yeah. I saw her. I met her at a Vanity Fair party. Everything happens it at all Vanity Fair It all goes parties, down at Vanity Fair. But I didn't know that it was Monica Lewinsky. I did not recognize her, actually. But she was sitting... Mm, well, sit in front, sit like that. And so, well, like I, yes, okay. and so I didn't know who she was. And I was like, wow, this woman has a lot of hair. I wonder if it's mm -hmm. her hair. Mm -hmm. And so she was talking to someone over there and I did just like this. <laughs> and she turned around just like that and she caught me. I was mortified, and then I was I was so stuck that I had to tell the truth. I couldn't lie. I tried. You, I could. I wasn't quick enough to go back. Yeah. And I said, I am so sorry. I just was trying to see if your hair was real or if you're <laughs> and I am. I am mortified and I'm embarrassed. And then she said it was her hair, and we started having a discussion. She's very lovely. Yeah. And did you what? Did you stay in touch after that? We did. We exchanged numbers. No. Yeah, we did exchange numbers. Well, it was we were almost intimate. I was about to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. And on that bombshell, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on.